Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I was feeling a little bit saucy today, so I thought let's do something a little bit different. Let's stick her bomb a telecaster. Let's get into it. Okay guys, hope I got you at a good enough angle so you can see what's going on. Now there's a few things before we get started. Gotta make sure your guitar, whatever you're gonna sticker bomb this is clean. Doesn't have any dust or debris on it. Make sure your hands is clean. Uh, another quick tip, start on the edges and work your way in and save your uh, favorite stickers to about the last. That way you, you'll see more of those than you will the rest of them. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe this down and we're gonna get into it. got my stickers laid out just going in random order just try to fill in the gaps here i'm not going to be putting any in it where the pit guard will lay or anything just try to go around it we'll do the front and we'll work the sides and then we'll do the back <laughs> Apologize for cutting that on you, but my camera died, and so I decided to go ahead and get some of this done what time I could, and I decided to order some more stickers for the back. But I decided to go with the uh, black and white themed stickers, but uh, yeah, here's what I got so far. Let me put this out of the way. Pretty cool, huh? Clear-cut it some Mod Podge. starts looking flat, chances are you've killed all those beautiful dark areas and you can go back and put them in because we don't make mistakes, we just have happy accidents. Learn to work with anything that happens. Anything that happens. Oh, I know. You're saying, Bob, you made a mess this time. You may be right, too. I've certainly been known to do that. There we go. 
but we don't we don't make mistakes you know we have happy accidents very soon very soon after you start painting in this method you'll learn that there's nothing that goes wrong you can correct anything that happens maybe comes right on down here we don't know we don't know and if you've painted with me before you also know we don't make mistakes we have happy accidents and we learn to work with those accidents and things that happen sometimes are more beautiful than things you you really set and planned so I'll tell you what let's make a little reflection here but you can create all kinds of little valleys and hills and you're never limited you can continually change these you can add to them subtract anything that you want to do because if you've painted with me before you know we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. You learn to work with everything that happens, and that's, that's when you get over any fear of painting, and it really becomes fun. Now then, there. Now you can continue to blend this till all these little things that you've painted in here go away, and it just becomes solid again. So if you ever make a mistake, and you're unhappy with it, of course, we don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. But should you have something that you're unhappy with, you can just keep blending it until it goes away. He'll just go away and leave you. There we are. Now, watch here. Let's just mess something up. If you mess up the top of this one. Finally got everything done on it. Got it clear coated. I've given it a few days, let the clear coat dry. And this Mod Podge has turned out really well, as you can see. Now, you could go in and sand it and redo it and redo it. But this... Um, this dries pretty flat, so you really don't have to do any sanding, so I'm not doing any sanding. Now it's time for assembly. Finally got it done. The Sticker Bomb Telecaster. I'd recommend this product to anyone. If you have an old beat up guitar that you're trying to put new life in, old beat up bass or something like that, or something cheap, um, I wouldn't recommend doing this on uh, something super nice or super expensive. If your guitar is like a nitro finish, I wouldn't recommend putting any kind of decals or stickers on it because it could interfere with the finish. And once it does, there's no going back. This was a great project, guys. I had a lot of fun doing it. I'll leave a link to the stickers I use below in the description. If y'all decide to do a project like this, follow me on Instagram and tag me so I can see what you guys come up with. Uh, you could do this on guitars, um, guitar cases, uh, amps probably. Uh, just anything like that's got a smooth like surface. And I'd like to note about these decals. These here, uh, if you put one down you don't like the position, you take it right back up and stick it right back. They don't these aren't like regular stickers. Once you stick them, they just tear up and look horrible. These here will lift right up. Won't leave no glue or nothing. Another thing I'd like to add, guys. If you'd like to see up close shots of this, I'll leave a link below. You can check out my Instagram page. There'll be a post on there giving some up close shots of this. That's going to do it for today, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And leave me a comment what you think about it. Have you done this before? Let me know what you do it on. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.